In this video, we'll figure out the number of atoms in PbCO3 too. This is lead four carbonate. Let's first write down the elements. We have lead, we have carbon, and then we have oxygen. So for the lead, there's nothing written after it. We assume there's a one. So we have one lead atom. And this two here, it applies to everything in the parentheses. So nothing after the carbon. We'll say there's one carbon. Two times one, two carbon atoms. Two times three, six oxygen atoms. So if we add this all up, we get a total of nine atoms in PbCO32, this lead four carbonate. If you are asked to figure out the number of, say, lead atoms in one mole of PbCO32, you would just multiply the number of lead atoms, one, times Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That would tell you how many atoms of lead are in one mole of lead four carbonate. Likewise, for carbon, you could multiply that by two, and you would get the number of carbon atoms in lead four carbonate. And for oxygen, you'd multiply it by six. Sometimes you're asked to figure out how many carbonate ions are in one mole of lead four carbonate. So the carbonate ion, that's CO3, two minus, good one to remember. So we have two of these carbonate ions in PbCO3, two. We had one mole of this, we'd have two moles of the carbonate ion. This is Dr. B, the number of atoms in PBCO32. Thanks for watching.